Sister Josefa Menendez was born in Madrid, Spain on February the 4th, 1890 to a profoundly Christian family. This humble nun of ordinary appearance and look received countless messages from our Lord, all part of making his message of love and mercy known to the whole world. It appears that Sister Josefa herself was the soul destined by God to lay the foundation for the divine mercy message. In her diary, we come across her writings of having been visited by the poor souls in purgatory from a diary on the dates of July the 27th to the 31st, 1921. We find narrated an episode regarding the souls of purgatory. Mary most holy says to Josepha, You may suffer to save one of my dear daughters. Jesus wanted her for himself, but she did not respond to the divine call. She will be dying tomorrow. What consolation for my maternal heart if she will not fall into hell. Sister Josepha prayed all night and the next day, she was terrorized by infernal noises. Shocked and frightened, she took refuge near the statue of Our Lady. Suddenly, everything became calm. Our Lady smiling placed her hand on the head of Yosefa and told her. She had already accounted for her life, poor little one. What a battle she had to endure. When the devil saw that her soul was fleeing him, he tried to take away her peace and how he made her suffer. He was furious against you because you were helping me to pull her away from him. She died much repented and her end was serene. Now she is in purgatory. The following night, Sister Yosefa was awoken by some wailing. This was none other than the very soul whom Our Lady had asked Sister Yosefa to pray for. This soul for years suffered horribly in purgatory. But when asked about which devotion to Our Lady did the soul cherish while on earth to obtain Our Lady's protection, the poor soul responded, from the very time I had abandoned myself to sin, my only devotion has been to recite every Saturday one Hail Holy Queen. And three days later, that soul ascends to heaven, thanks to the supplication of Yosefa. And before ascending, she goes to thank her benefactress. On April 10th, 1922, a soul appears to Sister Yosefa to thank her, but also reveals something that not too many know about. This poor soul mentions of how it had suffered in purgatory for one year and three months, and if it weren't for her small legs, this soul would still have to remain in purgatory for many years. The poor soul also mentioned to Sister Yosefa how many religious souls are little aware of how their faults are expated in purgatory. Now, the life of Sister Yosefa Menendez was entirely devoted to God. She received from Jesus a message to make known to all people. Many souls were going to Sister Yosefa to ask her to intercede on their behalf or to be liberated as soon as possible. One such soul told her that the only reason why she ended up in purgatory was due to the infinite goodness of God because an excessive pride had brought her to the brink of hell. During her time on earth, she had kept many people under her feet. The soul begged Sister Yosefa to perform some acts of humility to repair her pride. In this way, the soul would be liberated from the abyss. Another soul confessed of having spent seven years in mortal sin and always refusing to go to confession whenever he had the chance. This poor soul would have fallen into hell if it weren't for the sufferings of Sister Yosefa that obtained the strength for this soul to return back to grace. The soul was now in purgatory and begged Sister Yosefa to liberate him from this very gloomy prison. And again, she received the secret of another soul that found itself in purgatory due to her infidelity, not having wanted to respond to the call of God. For 12 years, she resisted her vocation and had always lived in great danger of getting lost because she had embraced sin to stifle remorse. But thanks to the divine goodness who was graciously accepted to make use of Sister Yosefa's sufferings, this soul had the courage to return to God. An inquiry was done of every name revealed by the souls and it was concluded that indeed the date and place of death coincided with what Sister Yosefa had said. Sister Yosefa had never visited purgatory, but many souls appeared to her to ask her for prayers or to thank her, because thanks to her sufferings, they had escaped hell. Now the message of purgatory presented to us by Sister Yosefa is a reminder to us that souls don't just make it to heaven right away. There are souls still being purified who are in desperate need of our prayers and purgatory is nothing other than an experience of the burning and purifying mercy of God a purifying love that consumes all defects with its intensity. 
While it may be strange for us to think of love and mercy as inflicting pain, this is the reality of purgatory. We have the power to help our suffering friends and bring them relief. To do so is an act of mercy and self-giving love. The sacrifice it requires of us is minimal, and yet the rewards are great. Let us renew our commitment to praying for our brothers and sisters who suffer in the purifying love of God. Eternal Father, I offer Thee the most precious blood of Thy divine Son Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen.